between heaven and earth that we, simple mortals, can't explain. Stories are told. One man's ceiling is another man's floor. Look at me, the stock, the messenger of life. When I appear in the vicinity of people, it's considered a good sign. But still, reason tells you a child grows in the womb. A stock is just a story for those who don't know to veil the truth, to dress up reality. So it's a stork. And then the stork, he will tell the story because the stork he's flying over from the Netherlands to here to bring the story back. To bring the story back. So he's flying all over the country. He's watching, he's sitting in a tree and then he's looking around and he's telling the story from above. So he's flying over the fields where the Kosa people are living. Fly around in the sky. Wat het mooie van de stork is, vind ik zelf, is dat hij heeft de mogelijkheid om vanuit Europa, laten we zeggen in Nederland, het verhaal te vertellen uit Zuid-Afrika wat hier gebeurd is. En de stork ja, is een heel mooi symbool uh, voor nieuw leven. De stork vliegt over, de stork kijkt naar beneden, ziet wat daar gebeurt en, 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 en vertelt het verhaal. Wat hij hier meegemaakt heeft. Eigenlijk is de stork een soort voice-over. Eigenlijk is de stork de commentator. En de stork, we hebben, Saskia heeft de stork zo geschreven dat je niet echt bezig bent met de opinie van de stork. Maar hij geeft eigenlijk aan wat daar gebeurd is. En, en, en ja, hij doet daar verslag op een hele eerlijke manier. You the same rhythm. Ik wilde een uh, uur hebben dat tussen Nederland en Zuid-Afrika een verbinding kon maken. Ja. Dus hij is intermediair. Dus, uh, want hij wist toen dat het ging spelen voor Nederlandse kinderen en Af Zuid-Afrikaanse kinderen. Dus toen wilde ik een figuur waar ze mee, beide mee mee Dat is dus bijvoorbeeld een jongen met weinig ervaring die wel dat gedaan heeft, een cursus uh, een beetje gespeeld. Er zijn ook jonge acteurs, die een toneelschool gaat, zijn ook mensen bij, die hebben helemaal geen toneelschool. En een, dat doet ook een meisje mee, bijvoorbeeld van Handspring Puppet Theater. Warhorse, heb je dat van gehoord? Nou ja, die hebben bijvoorbeeld taart gemaakt. En zij zijn die getraind uh, door die mensen. Dus die zijn eigenlijk al heel lang uh, poppenspeler. En die hebben een enorme training achter de rug. En die vinden het dan heel leuk om met ons te werken. Omdat ik een hele andere manier van werken, een hele andere manier van bewegen, van uh, theatrale taal. Stories are told. One man's ceiling is another man's floor. Look at me, the stork, the messenger of life. When I appear in the vicinity of people, it's considered a good sign. What exactly happened at the river? Nobody knows.
So this is one of the puppets. Actually, this is non Kawus in the play. Oh. And I'd like to have her on a bigger scale. And like I said to you, it's the, the movement is important. That's the language they speak. Movement, movement, movement. And you don't have to be that realistic. You also can make big jumps. This is the girlfriend no, of, no, of non Kawuse, no, no. Mandisa. This is her girlfriend. And the sad thing in the story is actually that they were good friends. Mandisa, what are you doing? I'm chasing the birds. The crows are eating our crops. Don't do that. Let them go. We have to destroy the crops anyway, so let the birds eat them. And what about us? What will we eat? Soon we will have more than you can ever imagine. Mandisa, what? What are you doing? I'm chasing the birds. The crows are eating our crops. Don't do that. Soon we have to destroy the crows anyway, so let the birds eat it. And what about us? What will we eat? In a while, Mandisa, we will have so much crops, so much millies, that you're going to beg me to stop. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. They were believers and non-believers. And they were, now yeah, after the, during the process, during <coughs> the play, they will be friends in the beginning, and after a while, they will be getting more separated and separated. The believers and non-believers, we, we got divided into two. There were people who were saying, you know what, we're not going to listen to this girl, and we're not going to kill our cattle, and anyone who wants to kill their cattle, they can go ahead. There were people who were saying, we must be open for change, because that's how we are as a nation. And this is just another uh, challenge and another opportunity for us to embrace change. Let's actually do it in faith. I think it's important to do this play to remind people of what has happened, just to, to teach the young children that are growing up to know the history of their, of what happened, their history, just to teach them. They say that Nong Kawuse's parents were killed by the British Army during a battle. The soldiers took men, women and children as prisoners. And they shot more than half of them. <laughs> what um, Ani and Saskia's story about the idea and, and the, uh, the concept of uh, theatre for youth is very important, especially in a country where we've been so dispossessed of our stories for so long. We come from a very complicated history where things have been changed and, and, and adapted and, and forgotten about and, and, you know, censored and so I think young people need to find theatre that they can watch that A, they identify with, um, that they see themselves with and also use that as a platform to educate and to, to remember what we were talking about, memory. I like oral history and memory is a very important thing. But why do we have to collect wood? You said we'll have everything. May we serve it too? So, let's go and... No! You lazy girl. That's what you like, huh? Playing all day and caring about nothing. Yeah. I just put some lead around it to give it some weight oh, that yeah. when you put it on the, on the floor it will not go all the time like this. I, I bought them in a, sh in, a, in a shop, in a Chinese shop. Uh -huh. It's for making, I think it has something to do with making tea or sounds. So we also can do, okay, we can do it with iron. Yeah, and then we just can paint it. They will stay. They, they will stay like this. Right, the kettle. The kettle. 
Now this happened gradually. The first people started killing the cattle and then nothing happened. And then Nongose went back there and he says, but oh great one, oh pure one, oh wise one, Tamago, you have told me that the dead will arise when we kill our cattle. But my nation has killed their cattle. I don't understand. Why are the dead not rising up? And then the apparition kept on saying, that's because the rest of you have not all killed the animals. You must all kill the animals. And now this frustration, it grew to the point that eventually most of the people slaughtered their cows. And then, that is when poverty hit the Khosa nation for the first time ever in their history. The history that we know. Well, yeah, it is very basic. Uh, this food it will stay like this. Then everything need to. Mm. Yeah. But what there was another question that Tell I Tell me. Do you think those uh, boiled ten nuts, they is also a good solution? Yeah, why not? Also, also, also. But I like this as well. Okay. I like I like this material. Okay. And you're flexible.
So now the problem is poverty. Okay, you guys are hungry. Okay, come in. Take our culture and embrace it. And then we accept you. And anybody else who has a problem, bring them in here. Now, nobody is talking about the dead arising now. Nobody, nobody's even interested in that because everybody knows this is not going to happen. And everybody's like, oh, no, no, say, what have you done to our nation? What have you done? But no, no, say, is a symbol of the innocence of Kosa people. When people, when, when people are crying, no, no, say, what have you done to our people? You've destroyed our nation. They are saying, black nation, your innocence was your weakness. So now this, this takes us away from that perception that the black nation is actually angry at non Mause or the point here is about non Mause because the decisions that were taken were a communal, a national thing. It was not an individual influence. It was national. Non Mause is the symbol of the innocence of the African people. Thank mm -hmm. you.